Canadian dictator Justin Trudeau is going to have to find himself a new safe space. The European Parliament is not one of them. He was there, got blasted by three MEPs, members of the European Parliament, who said that he was a dictator. He was somebody who seized bank accounts and ran over women, trampled them with horses as he was seizing control of Canada and wrecking their democracy. We're going to go through all three of them today and learn a little bit more about them. Recommend to follow them and support politicians or people out there who are speaking truth to power. But before we do, let's take a look and see how little Trudeau walked in there. And he sort of walked in with this smug face, thinking that he was going to be uh, received with thunderous applause. And he kind of was a little bit. Watch. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, yes, 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 little people. Yes, little people. Yes, it's good to be here. Well, some people were very happy to see him. Others were not. This woman, well, actually, I think they were happy to see him so that they could deliver a message. This woman here says uh, her name is Christine Anderson. She's over on Twitter. We can take a look. And if this is translated over from German, it says political spokeswoman for the ID parliamentary group here in U EU Parliament for women's rights, as well as culture and education as coordinator FEM. Okay, so out of uh, Brussels, 66,000 followers just about, and you can follow her over at Anderson AFDM DEP. And so you can uh, see that she said this yesterday, Canada's prime minister dictator visited the parliament to give a speech. I took the opportunity, she writes, to give him a welcome there. Very short, very concise and hitting the bullseye. This is what she said. Embrace yourself for amazingness. Based on Article 195, doubt that it would have been more appropriate for Mr. Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, to address this House according to Article 144, Talk an article us. which was specifically designed to debate violations of human rights, democracy, and the rule of law, which yeah. is clearly the case with Mr. Trudeau. Mm. Then again, a Prime Minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing Literally. his own citizens as terrorists just because they dared to stand up to his perverted concept of democracy should not be allowed to speak in this house at all. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Please spare us your presence. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man, I need to sit down for a minute. I am, but I need to sit down again because that lady was ready to rock and roll. Her name was Christine Anderson. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely outstanding. She had no cards to pop. Boom, 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 boom. Don't come in our house. You are supposed to be here promoting democracy, standing for these liberties, not standing here and lecturing us and then going home and seizing them from your own people. You little. Next up, we've got Mislav Kolakuzic. He's an MEP from the Republic of Croatia. You can see he is a former judge, non-affiliated activist for the rule of law, and he's a fighter against corruption. And he is somebody who has been on Trudeau's uh, back for some time, upset with him about what happened here. Remember in Canada, we talked a lot about the Freedom Trucker Convoy. The entire civilized world, he posted back then, February 20th, should condemn this unacceptable violence by the police and the authorities in Canada. Referencing this photograph of that woman standing there with her walker who got trampled over by Trudeau's dictator horses that were out there after he invoked tyrannical rule. This is not what democracy looks like, says Mislav. Says this is completely unacceptable and shocking. And it was, we all watched this. I mean, look at all these little dictators in their, what are these, uh, I guess riot gear outfits, making sure that they're taking out their Canadian fellow citizens. So we have Mislav Kolakuzic. This is what he said. And I believe this is in his original language. So I'll do some translating here. Dear colleagues and dear citizens, Prime Minister Trudeau calling him out. Freedom the right to choose, the right to life, the right to health, the right to work, for many of us are fundamental human rights, for which millions of citizens of Europe and the world have laid down their lives to defend our rights and the rights of our children, which we have acquired and fought for over centuries. Many of us, including myself, are willing to risk our own freedom and our own lives. Unfortunately, today, there are those among us 
Trudeau, who trample on these fundamental freedoms, literally with horses. Canada, once a modern symbol of the world, has become a symbol of civil rights violations under your quasi-liberal boot in recent months. We watched how you trampled women with horses, how you blocked the bank accounts of single parents, he did, so that they can't even pay their children's utilities and education for their medicine mortgages for their homes, Trudeau. To you, these may be liberal methods. For many citizens of the world, it is a dictatorship of the worst kind. Rest assured that the citizens of the world, he says, united can stop any regime that wants to destroy the freedom of citizens, whether it's by bombs or harmful pharmaceutical products, we will. Thank you. Oh, look at Trudeau over there with his mask on. <laughs> and look at this woman with her face. Oh, she is so unhappy about this. I didn't see this when I first watched this. Oh, this is perfect. We can see here her face is going Oh my gosh, we just got blasted. Trudeau has his mask on, so you can't see his seething anger. And he is just unhappy as can be. Well, he should, because he just got called out for being a dictator. He got absolutely identified through and through, and they rubbed his face in it. Well done to Mislav. And our final humiliation comes from Bernard Zimenak. He is somebody over from Munich. You can see he's on Twitter, and he said this. He said, that I tried to prevent the speech of dictator Trudeau in the parliament because he recently trampled on the core values of democracy. Unfortunately, the enemies of democracy are also on the rise in Europe as the reaction of my colleagues clearly shows. Hashtag Trudeau tyranny. Here's how that sounded when he was there at the EU parliament. Honourable members, we keep discussing here our European democratic values that underpin all of our actions. Important. I worked in Syria and Pakistan for many years as a diplomat and therefore value democracy very highly. So now, do I. The so do Canadians. Invitation to Canadian PM Justin Trudeau is an invitation to someone who's been trampling on democratic rights, With horses. who's yep. been uh, cracking down on people who protested against disproportionate corona measures. Yep. People who were supporting a non sanctioned movement coming under criticism. So clearly, the values of uh, democracy are being uh, despised uh, by this individual. Don't Let us it. not give someone like this any speaking time in this house of democracy. Yes. Kick him out of there. Go on, get out of here, Trudeau. Yeah, so three for three. We've got three different humiliations taking place. Trudeau comes in. Oh, oh, it's good to be here, little people. And three for three, you're right out of the gate. No, you're a dictator. You're a tyrant. You trample women with horses. You seize bank accounts from single parents who are trying to raise their kids. Hope you're happy with yourself there, Trudeau. So he's going to have to go home, probably get a team of clinicians to help him sort through this whole thing. That's a lot of uh, very provocative language and stuff that might be a little bit hurtful to his Fifi. So we'll see how he's doing. We'll continue to follow Justin Trudeau, see if he has another uh, dictatorial meltdown where he tries to take control over the country. Hope you follow along with us. I would love it if you subscribed so that we can connect on the next one. And I look forward to seeing you there.